Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be unboxing this fountain pen from Muji. It's uh, the one fountain pen that Muji makes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Muji is a Japanese uh, brand. They kind of make a lot of different stuff. I don't know what I would call them. A lifestyle brand. They make stationary stuff, but they make clothing and I believe household items and things like that. I don't know how to read any of this. Uh, it's made in Japan, packaged very simply. Um, I received this as a gift, a Christmas gift. Um, and this is how it came. Uh, it was in a box as well that I opened already. So you missed that portion of the unboxing, but this is the whole packaging for the pen. It comes in a bag. I do not mind one bit, because you save money. Uh, I think some of these pens from other companies, the packaging can be robust, and you end up paying for the box, which can be a nice thing, but unnecessary. So here, uh, well, let's, 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 let's get into it. So you get a couple ink cartridges. The ink cartridges are made in Austria. It's interesting. Get to those in a minute. Here's the pen itself. These are just simple assembly instructions the cartridge into the feed or the barrel the what do you call that the section I believe the pen terminology is S slipping this is just some details it's a, an aluminum round body fountain pen with a fine nib I believe it comes in one nib size I believe it's again made in Japan feels good. It's not heavy, but it's got a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or, you know, too lightweight. I mean, it's aluminum. There's a little rubber uh, finial, if you can get it to focus. Very simple, simple clip. some knurling right here where you would grip it and once again simple rubber here's some parts moving around now this is a ooh, you don't have to twist to uncap it just pulls off and there is the nib it says iridium point is good, I believe. Very simple feed there. So we could hear moving around on the inside, I believe. Let's see, what do I got? Oh, okay. So in addition to the two ink cartridges provided, there is a, a third. So Hopefully it should be some time before I have to come up with a, uh, a converter for, for this pen. So 
by following the provided instructions, which I cannot read. Let's see, very simply, you just stick the ink cartridge in here. There will be a, a thing that should puncture this. There we go, simple enough. there. Something is moving around. Is there anything else in here? I don't know. I'm just being nitpicky. Now I know from watching videos of this pen that it does post and the posting mechanism is satisfying. You can see there's a little gap there. And this just fits into there like that. I probably won't post this pen when I use it. I don't really like posting my pens. When I uh, started Getting into fountain pens, I thought I would like posting. I think I liked posting other pens, but I find that they typically, I like the way they fit in my hand better. I don't like the extra weight dragging them out, but that's going to vary from pen to pen, of course. All right, well, let's see how it performs though. First try, that's a good sign. The ink is flowing. Some beautiful, smooth, fine lines. Really no complaints. Feels like a precise, like a precision instrument that makes sense, like an extension of the hand. Not sure where the ink comes from, what kind of ink I'm using. It's a black ink, which I'm thankful for. I prefer black ink. Probably use all of these cartridges up before I fill it with anything else. Um, so far, you know, it's writing like a fine pen. Like, I, when I say fine, I mean um, the nib, like a uh, width. And I suppose fine in terms of quality as well. This is a Muji. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the way. I'm gonna try taking the cap off and doing some writing. I guess it's a Muji aluminum fountain pen. It's a little bit lighter this way. I feel a little bit freer to draw some sketchier lines. Yeah, I think I just prefer drawing with my pens not posted. 
But um, that's the Muji pen. I've been hearing about this pen for a long time, many years, heard a lot of good things from trusted sources, and it's a very affordable pen. Now look, as I mentioned, it was a gift to me, but I believe it's somewhere in the 20 to $30 range if you wanna buy your own. You can find it in a lot of places, a lot of online stores. There's not a Muji store near me where I live. Um, uh, so far, not thrilled with this ink, but that's totally fine because it was free. <laughs> it's a little, I don't know if sticky is the right word or like tar, tarish. It's just not, it's not as smooth and buttery as I would like, but I think that's kind of the nice thing about fountain pens and about buying new pens and trying new inks is that um, they all behave differently and just because I'm not used to it yet doesn't mean that it's not good or that it is bad. Um, having said that, you know, the, the free ink that comes with the pen is not going to be the best quality ink uh, most of the time. So, um, but look, I mean... You saw me open it, stick the cartridge in, and first try, this thing started writing. I don't think I've had it skip yet. If I press lighter, I can get these kind of lighter lines. I like a really wet pen, traditionally. Um, that's what I prefer. But once again, I'm also like, I think it's important to get outside of your comfort zone and try things that you maybe don't like or aren't used to because you're going to change up the way that you, the way that you draw, the sort of things that, that you draw, the quality of your lines will change. So, so far I am just not used to it yet, but that's not to say that I don't like it. I see myself drawing a lot more with this pen. I think in any creative pursuit, you know, you get used to a certain set of tools and you can get really comfortable with those tools and make some really great work and maybe not even master, but just really get comfortable with them. And that can be a good thing. And then guess what? Your work can get kind of stale or the process can get stale if you're not, if you're if you're just using the same tools over and over again. And so I think it's a good way of challenging yourself and building uh, variation into your work to sometimes just get some new stuff, try try it out, experiment with new with new materials, which is what I'm doing here. So I may not be super comfortable with it, but practice with it a couple weeks. It might be my new favorite pen. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Muji pen. Check it out. Um, hope everyone's having a good holiday season. Um, you know, I haven't been making videos very much lately, but maybe I'll start again. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? See what the new year brings. Um, I hope you're doing all right. And, you know, let me know if you like this and if you want more or less of anything. And I don't know if I'll listen to you because I make these videos because it's fun. And <laughs> I don't, I've never gotten a single request on this page and I don't expect that to change anytime soon. So I just like to let you know that the door is open for comments, suggestions. Maybe I'll do, I'd like to do more drawing videos on this channel and less just like unboxing videos. So maybe, maybe I'll do some of those in the future. I'll go live or something, we'll see. All right, everyone. Well, uh, I could keep drawing all day. I guess that's a good thing. Muji Pen uh, gets a thumbs up. I don't have a ranking system on this channel. It's not really my business. 
to rank things, I just unbox them and give first impressions. So. But if you're watching this video to wonder, should I buy the Muji pen? I'd say, yeah, give it a go. It's uh, not a huge investment and it seems like a quality instrument. Um, and I'm actually, this was not planned at all, but right now I'm wearing a Muji shirt. This is a, a flannel shirt that I bought from Muji. And this thing has served me well as well. So Muji's, uh, they make good stuff, you know, check them out. All right, everyone. Hope you have a great day and a good new year. Take care.